hi guys welcome back to my channel quest with so machine so for today's video we're going to be doing a reaction video and we are going to be reacting to cardi b cut stalking Nicki minaj on twitter again okay so yeah before we get started you already know don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you're not subscribed if you're already subscribed thank you so much and also do not forget to like this video if you want to see more of your reaction videos like this and i'm trying to you know introduce more things into my channel so if you enjoy it don't forget to thumbs up this video once again also don't forget to comment down below any other type of reaction videos you want me to do next and i'll make sure i do so for you and yeah let's get started so first of all it says again right so when i say again that means it happened in the past so what's this sis? what's this into it with Nicki Minaj fans yet again and this is nothing new it seems like Cardi is always going back and forth with the barbs on Twitter and she goes on these rants and later on deletes her tweets this happens pretty much every week but I did find it very interesting when one barb took a screen recording of Cardi following Nicki Minaj topics on Twitter and this is what I wanted to talk about. But before I do, I want to briefly talk about Cardi B's Double XL Magazine interview because she made a few comments that triggered some responses on social media. Now, she was asked whether or not she feels obligated to support upcoming female rappers in the industry. And she said, no, I don't. If I like you, I'm going to endorse you. If I like your music, I'm going to tell you that I like your music. I'm not in no catty stuff, but it's like at the end of the day, it is what it is. Like this can get a little bit catty. So it's like I don't want to feel like I have a responsibility to look out for the girls and cuddle or coddle the girls and this and that. I feel like nobody did it for me, so it's like I don't have to do it for you. Now, I find it very interesting that Cardi felt like nobody coddled her or co-signed her she might have felt that way but that certainly wasn't the case i mean cardi b has gotten a lot of support from different that's true she has she has different female rappers a lot of female rappers like trina Nicki minaj mm. missy elliott and little kim congratulated her when she got her first number one record remy ma even brought her out on stage during summer jam and this was before cardi b blew up with her hit song Bodak Yellow. So she has been embraced by a lot of female rappers in the game. And also, she has been supported by radio stations. She has been supported by the media. Mm -hmm. And she has been heavily supported and promoted by her label. So yeah. for her to act like she wasn't supported doesn't make sense to me. I understand that she had to put in work to get to where she is, but she definitely got a lot of support. She also went on to say that if somebody shows her love, she will show them love. She says she has no problem showing love to somebody's projects if she truly respects them. But she's not going to go out of her way to embrace somebody. She said, I don't feel like I got to embrace everybody because you might embrace a B and then next thing you know, you find out the B don't even like you. Now, this is a fair statement. A lot of people in the industry are two-faced, so... I but that's like most industry though like literally most like industry there's people in there that don't really mess with you and we act like they do just because they want um your popular your popularity so that's not surprising that's also here on the youtube platform that's on the beauty community that's in the whole um um artist community that's everywhere you can understand why she would feel hesitant to work with other female rappers. I mean, I remember the whole fiasco she had with Cuban Doll. Mm. Cardi invited Cuban Doll to perform at her Fashion Nova party, but the crazy thing is Cuban Doll was trying to link up with her man behind her back. So I totally understand why Cardi is hesitant to work with other female <laughs> and I, ooh. rappers. And this is the same thing that Nicki Minaj had to go through as well. Unfortunately for Nicki Minaj, there was a narrative created that she didn't like or support other female rappers. And this narrative was really put out there by the media, especially the gatekeepers in the music industry. And unfortunately, a lot of us believed it. To this day, I regret a lot of my stances on Nicki Minaj in the past because I realized that her not working with other female rappers was not about her being selfish with her platform, but it was more so about 
her not trusting people and their motives. Everybody is looking for a come up, but the same people that will reach out to you to do a song with you would be the same ones talking about you behind your back. So it's like I said, that's everywhere, even in your own friend groups. It happens. It's a very shady game, and mm -hmm. I do think that Nikki tried to work with other female rappers, but every time she worked with them, things went wrong. When she worked with Lil' Kim, things went wrong. When she worked with Cardi B on Motorsport, things went horribly wrong, to mm -hmm. the point that Cardi attempted to attack her at New York Fashion Week. When Nikki Yeah, remember that? ...worked with Trina on her song, Bats, things also went wrong due to miscommunication. And even though Nikki had a good experience with Megan while working on her song Hot Girl Summer, she began to notice that Megan slowly stopped acknowledging her. Nikki gave Megan a huge cosign at the beginning of her career, and she opened up the door for Megan to collaborate with people like Beyonce and Cardi B. But after Megan collaborated with Nikki, she gradually stopped mentioning her. And I think Nikki noticed this. And she probably felt used, which is why she quietly unfollowed Megan. I think Nikki's most positive experiences was when she collaborated with Doja Cat and Foxy Brown. But other than that, she didn't really have much positive experiences. So looking back on all of this now, I could understand why she didn't work with a lot of female rappers. But she did big some of the newer ones up. She bigged up Cash Doll, Asian Doll, Cuban Doll, Saweetie. Megan Thee Stallion, Malibu Mitch, Young M.A., Miss Banks, Lady LaSure. She also bigged up Mulatto and Erica Banks. So she's definitely used her platform to shout out other female rappers. But as far as working with them, she has been a little bit more selective. Mm -hmm. And I can't really blame her, especially after that whole situation with Cardi B and how that affected Nicki's career. Looking back on it now, there were definitely some people in high positions in the industry who were trying to hinder Nicki and blackball her. And they used Cardi B as a pawn to do it, which is why the whole collaboration that Nicki did with Cardi will always leave a bad taste in her mouth because mm -hmm. there were some real forces trying to knock her off her pedestal. Those people came together, came together to try to end Sorry. me and sweetheart. Before I get off this Insta, let me say this. It'll never fucking happen. You can go all the way. Okay. Okay. That's why I love, love Nikki. Ugh. Everything y'all want to, every witch doctor in the motherfucking world, it'll never fucking happen. Praise be to God. I am who I am because I am who I am. You see, I don't have to go in a room with a bunch of men to, cre to create my sound, my image, my anything. I am who I am. Take it off and leave it. But I put in the motherfucking work. Okay. I put in the work. Like Nikki said, she is who she is. She's a legend. She's an icon in the game. And the fact that people still bring her name up even after she's been on hiatus for months mm -hmm. says a lot. She is not going anywhere, no matter how many label executives try to blackball her or stop her or use other artists to come against her. She's not going anywhere. Nikki will always be in the conversation, and I think Cardi is very aware of this. Yep. She puts on this front like she doesn't care, but she's paying attention to Nikki and she's paying attention to what Nikki's fans are saying as well. Now, Cardi has been caught lurking on Nikki's page before, but there have been some more recent instances that made me believe that Cardi is low-key stalking Nicki Minaj. Now, last year in November, Nicki announced that she was doing a docuseries for HBO Max. A lot of her fans were excited and they made posts about it. And some of the barbs noticed that Cardi saved this post on her phone. Cardi actually exposed this herself when she uploaded a video she took from her phone. And in the beginning of the clip, some of the barbs noticed that Cardi had a picture of a tweet about Nick. So one thing about the barbs is that we do the research. That we do it. That we do the research. They'll make sure <laughs> they zoom in, find out things. When it comes to that, like the the behalf for Beyonce, that's how the barbs are. Like they will do the research, they will dig and dig and find some dirt if they want to defend the the the, the barb. So 
Nicki Minaj's upcoming documentary. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how the Barb's were able to spot this. Their investigation skills are high level. <laughs> what I said, what did I say? Their investigation skills are just out of this world. Like, can y'all see, like, y'all, y'all, can y'all see? You can barely see, but they were able to find out that it was Nicki Minaj's post. Like, woo. <laughs> But they called Cardi out, and Cardi deleted this video because she was caught stalking Nikki, and she probably felt embarrassed by that. And that I would too. Wasn't the only time she was caught slipping. Recently, she was called out by the Barb's again for keeping tabs on Nicki Minaj. Now, a Barb took a screen recording of Cardi B following Nicki Minaj topics on Twitter. Cardi doesn't even follow herself but she follows topics about Nikki. That to me is very, very weird and obsessive. Nikki has literally been MIA from social media for months. She hasn't made a post or a tweet in months. And the fact that Cardi is keeping tabs on her and her fans is just odd to me. It's very, very odd. There's clearly an obsession there. She wants to see what's going on with- Is giving very much obsessed. Nikki and I think she low-key wants to look like her too. I think Nikki will always be somewhere in the back of Cardi's mind because of how things transpired between them and the whole drama with Nikki will continue to haunt her throughout her career. This is why she's still arguing with Nikki's fans almost three years after their beef. The Neighborhood Talk took a screenshot of Rap Alert responding to Cardi and said please don't play dumb and act like you don't be baiting them with Nikki subtweets as well. You need to address Nikki directly with whatever issues you have with her instead of constantly responding to her fans. It gets old and it isn't good for your own mental. And Cardi responded and said, no, you want me to address her because you want me to still care about something that happened three years ago. But yo, three years ago, like that's so far back. Like, come on sis, let's move on. I don't sub, I don't do none of that negative stuff. What I'm not going to allow is people constantly harassing, camping, lying, then expect me to be quiet. I mean, I think she meant be, be quiet. I think that's what she meant. Quiet. What? So Cardi tried to flip it and make it seem like fans are triggering. Don't overpay for Adidas. This tool can save you money. It's a browser extension. Her to respond, but Cardi is the one paying attention to these fans. She's the one giving them energy and following what they are doing. She's following what Nikki is doing. And Nikki hasn't been on social media in months. It's getting weird. It's just getting weird. Like, Nikki is literally living her life. Like, she hasn't been showing any sign of, you know, I care about social media lately. So why are you still stuck in the girl? Like, why do you want to keep tab on the girl? Don't get me wrong. I love Cardi as well, okay? I love her as well. But we just gotta, gotta be honest here, okay? Cardi definitely has an obsession. A serious obsession. Whoa, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is like real life? Like, you guys think Cardi is really obsessed with Nicki? Or you guys think it's just, you know, people exaggerating the facts? So y'all let me know how you guys, you know, feel about this whole video. Um, like I said, I love Cardi, I love Nikki, I love both of them. But then with these facts, I kind of feel like, sis, you gotta, you know, chill a little bit, you know? You gotta let go. We've been three years. Let's just, you know, let go of certain things. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to introduce more things in the channel, like I said. I now have a reaction channel. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe because soon I will no longer post my reactions here. I'll move it to the other channel. So definitely, definitely, definitely go subscribe to that channel as well. Um, it's just when reacts, okay? Just go ahead and subscribe. Links is down below for your convenience. And don't forget to subscribe to, subscribe to this channel. Let me know what other type of video you like to see next. I'll make sure I do that for you. And I'll catch you on my next one. Bye, guys.